Hi, Dr. Gary on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. We are dental practice brokers. Today's topic is seller just spent $300,000 on equipment upgrades. They want compensation in the sale price. We're going to get into what happened. So, as you know, we're in 27 states now uh, with practices for sale. And we have our 10 employees there to service you. All the information you're about to hear is for entertainment. It is not legal or business advice. Now, our phone number is 201-663-0935. And our website is dentalpracticeguide.com. So look us up, questions, give us a call. If you are DS, want to sell to a DSO, please give us a ring because they will not charge us a commission. The vast majority of them will not charge commission and uh, there'll be uh, no cost to you because they'll pay the whole commission. And of course, too, certain DSOs will pay the legal fees, which is great, upon successful closing, only upon successful closing. So anyway, give us a ring and we'd be happy to chat about any questions you have. Moving along, I have a situation now, doctor wants to sell their practice. Also, they don't want to stay on long more than a few months. But on top of that, they spent a few hundred thousand dollars on equipment and leasehold improvement upgrades. They said, well, we want the sale price to be reflective of all the extra money we spent. I explain, listen, it's great to make improvements in the practice. What that generally does is uh, increase the marketability of the practice. Somebody's more inclined to buy it because you made the renovations or upgrades. They don't have to make it now, so it's more value to them. But as far as getting more money from it, not necessarily. You may get a little higher, but, but not necessarily. And they want more money for it. So they spent a few hundred thousand dollars on equipment and they want extra money. That's a hard challenge, okay? Because the bank and I will go back, as I previously said, if you did all these equipment changes, then your gross should be higher because it brings in more patients because they like the look of the office, etc. So that's what happens. But the truth is you're not gonna get that much more money. Sometimes in certain circumstances you might but majority of the time, you're not going to. And you've got to be aware of this. Uh, secondly, if you're not willing to stay on at least two, three years, and you know you're grossing over a million, it's going to be challenging to sell to a DSO. Unless the DSO can has a practice very close to yours, they can just roll it up. But even then, uh, they'll pay less because they're really just buying records, you know. So it's something to keep in mind. You know, so we told the doctor the average percentages that uh, things on the East Coast sell for, that's 65 to 74 percent. That's just average. That's based on a, a normal overhead, not on a high overhead. And then the DSOs will pay higher than that. We'll figure out what your EBITDA is or your net profit and still paying the doctor. Um, that's going to be a, uh, you know, it could be like 22 percent of your factor maybe five, six times that 22% of your gross, which is an average number for an EBITDA for a well-run practice, but yours may not be that. Yours may be a lot higher, a lot lower. So uh, that's something to be aware of too. So getting back to it, if we were to sell this practice with a couple hundred thousand dollars improvements, we may not get the uh, buyer to pay that extra money, be it DSO or who has little deeper pockets or a private buyer. So there's something to consider. It really depends on how bad the buyer wants it. So renovations to your office will help in marketing of the practice and the sale of the practice. Not necessarily will it uh, add to the value of the practice or the amount of money that you'll get as a clo at the closing. So that's just something to remember because we go through this often. I repeat it when it comes through because it repeats it all the time. These issues do come through. All right. Thank you for listening. We hope to speak to you soon and call us anytime. Thank you.